Hello everyone, it's Kirk again, uh, doing another SketchUp video, uh, doing some more skill building. Um, uh, this weekend I've been playing around with uh, photo matching again. Uh, last video you saw, I was working on this uh, Jamestown Shaker Church. Um, now I'm working on the Jamestown uh, Schoolhouse. This is a building that was... Uh, in use around the turn of the century 1905 is when the i believe when the picture that i was using is from so sometime late 1800s early 1900s uh when this uh, building was in use uh, let's see let's uh take a look here uh you can see here uh the uh bell tower um chimney uh still need to work on um, the bell looking for a uh, period appropriate bell um, that would have been used for um, a schoolhouse like this it's too hard in the picture you can to see if you can see here i can get a general sense of the type of bell so i know roughly what type of bell they're using here but i can't really see what bell it is and exactly how it's built uh, so I'm gonna have to guess a little bit but I'll work on a um, period appropriate um, style of bell that would have been used for a, a classroom um, uh, schoolhouse uh, so anyway and then uh, as you can see here um, I built um, modeled these windows so these are actual uh, I modeled these completely to be a, a period appropriate um, and you can see they're uh, double sash, um, uh, both active. Um, so this is a double hung style, uh, wood framed wood window. Um, you can see I got the stops in there and, uh, even glazed it with the glass and, and all of that. So try to make those as accurate as possible. Sill and, uh, jams with, um, trim wood trim uh, here you can see the uh, pretty historically accurate uh, lap siding so this is a type of lap siding that is actually still being used today um, in in some places is very common in this area um, uh, you can still get some of this but not exactly the same um, I modeled this based on the image the image here plus the church has the same type of lap siding um, so it's pretty easy to get uh, the details for that and uh, to be able to model that um, and then of course the door I modeled based on the image uh, you can see in the image the style of door so um, I modeled that based on period appropriate and uh, style of, of construction um, so styles, rails, um, beveled um, panels with stopped in um, cove. Um, so uh, relatively, uh, I would say pretty, pretty, pretty close to accurate. Um, as accurate as, as you can get with a, a photo that's, uh, you know, not overly detailed and, and doesn't have the clarity where you could actually zoom in and get really, really fine details. So... I feel pretty confident that we're uh, we're in the ballpark. Um, okay, moving inside the building, uh, you can see I'm going to uh, close that grouping. Um, so here's the uh, teacher's desk. Um, again, relatively, I mean, this is a um, this is a desk that is um, period appropriate. The chalkboard I still need to work on. I threw this in just for a quick reference um, so you can kind of see what it would look like. But this is set up pretty similar to how you would see it. I still need to finish the molding um, inside the building. Um, and then I'm going to model an actual period appropriate uh, chalkboard, something that would have actually you would have actually seen in a classroom around this period. <clears throat> uh, let me see. So then you can get a spin around here. Um, take you back to where you're standing as a teacher. So this would be um, pretty pretty similar. This is kind of the view you would see if you were teaching the class. Um, kind of looking out over the class. And you can see I actually modeled these uh, these 
um, classroom desks. Uh, again, period appropriate. Uh, these are actually, well, actually, I'll come back to that. I'll show you here in just a second. Um, give you a view of what it'd be like to be a student here, sitting in the, in the, um, at one of the desks. Uh, you can kind of get a feel, a sense of uh, actually being in the classroom. So here you are, you know, looking up at the teacher, looking up at the chalkboard, sitting in the class with the rest of the students. It's kind of a cool, cool experience. Um, now get a little closer look at the um, desks that I built. Um, so I actually modeled these <clears throat> to be as um, accurate as possible. Um, so these are period appropriate. These the style of desk is very common. Um, not only this time, um, this period, uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. They actually go back even um, early 1800s um, and maybe even older than that, but uh, very common in schools. But also I did a little bit of research and found numerous photo uh, evidence of um, Native American classrooms, some of these uh, county or uh, country um, uh, classrooms for Native Americans that had these very similar, or in fact, almost exactly, I modeled these actually off of a uh, one that came from um, a, another Native American uh, classroom um, from the late 1800s. Um, so very period appropriate. Um, this is definitely what uh, most kids would have been sitting in around this time of year or this, this time in history uh, if they were in a classroom. They were, you know, obviously a lot more ornate ones, um, uh, but I feel like this was probably pretty consistent and appropriate um, for this classroom. Um, and you can see that I modeled uh, with a cam and everything. So you can actually, and you see this, this, this thing could, as it's, as it's designed here, as I built it, it, it could actually function, you know, the um, Phillips head bolt with the, with the actual, uh, nut on it a little thread there so got a little little extra this is uh you know these cast iron uh, these would have been cast um and uh this is kind of what they would have looked like so you got the you can put the little bolt hole for whether this would have been anchored to either a two by or directly to the floor depending on um the classroom uh it was from from the photos that I've seen, it's pretty common um, either or. They could have either been bolted directly to the floor or uh, to a two-by where kids would have actually had to step over the little two-bys uh, to and, and potentially trip. Um, I'm going to show you here that uh, you can actually, this is kind of fun. Um, uh, let's see, I want to uh, open this up here. Oops, I'm going to close that again actually. Uh, let me go redo and I'm going to open this. So I'm going to edit this group and then I'm going to click on this section here. So I made this a grouping and then what I can do here is actually show you how this functions. So I got to find the center spot here. So I'll make sure that I don't mess it up and then I'm going to come to here and then you can see you can actually set this down. And there's your stool. And there's your seat. It's kind of cool. So it's been a little bit of time working on that. And then you can see here there's a little cubby where you put your schoolwork and your pencils and, and uh, maybe your, your sack lunch or whatever. It's kind of cool. It's a fun little, uh, fun little um, skill building session that I had. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, let me know if uh, if you liked the video, um, if you learned anything, if there's something that you're interested in, like to see me model or uh, sketch up, and and also uh, let me know if there's something you want me to uh, share, like uh, like how I built these. I can tell you these uh, these are a little interesting. I actually learned some tricks that I didn't know before. Um, in the process of being frustrated and trying to figure out how to make this work, 
uh, trying to model these were was a little crazy, but now that I've done it, um, it's actually pretty pretty easy. But there's definitely some tricks uh, to modeling these curved pieces and uh, getting some of these textures and stuff. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, um, follow us, uh, follow me on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, um, and then I will be posting this on our uh, YouTube channel as well. And uh, yeah, hit me up with a message if you want to see more stuff, if there's anything specific you want to see, or um, you know, I'm always up for learning new things. So if you have some challenges, uh, feel free to let me know. I'm excited to do it. So. All right, uh, have a great day and uh, keep modeling.